Yeah, I did one valve here. I'm gonna probably do a couple more before I actually show in the video how, how I'm doing it. Listen to the difference between a lapped valve, a proper valve seat, and one that's not. It's a high-pitched, tingy metal sound. Now listen to how dull this valve sounds. hear that? So that's what you're looking for. You need to, uh, needs to be seating right or else you'll lose compression. So starting, starting from how you pull the head off, first thing you gotta do is obviously remove the spring. Try to get the camera situated. Okay, first thing you gotta do is remove the spring. You got your spring compressor tool. I already have this dialed in, so I can just clamp it with, it takes a bit of muscle that on here and you gotta get the bottom I'm lined right up with the valve here so I'm looking under the head and then got that oops moved it okay and start clamping it down applying a little bit of force it's kind of tough okay there it goes now these little rings will pop right out that holds the valve in it's really not really not anything too complicated here it's a lot easier than you know I thought it would be now, of course, now they said that these rings, these won't come out with clips. Okay, there goes that one. And this other one, it's harder sometimes, you just dump the head upside down and it'll come right out. There it goes. Bam, fell right out. Alright, so now those are out. Okay, remove this. And the spring comes right off. Valve comes right out. Now all I'm doing is clean up the valve a little bit. If you have a wire wheel on like a bench grinder, that'd be like probably a good good uh, idea. But I don't right at this moment, so I'm just gonna use some sandpaper, go around it, try and avoid the seat, and any further than you know up here where it rides on the valve guide so just clean it up so cleaned up the valve a little bit you can see I mean it's not perfect but I knocked all the crap off of it throw a dab of this lube here go ahead and put that on the valve get it stuck in there Grab my valve grinding compound. Get a dab of this. Put it on the seat. Put it on the seat here. Get a nice goop of this. Just put it all around there. And spin it to spread the Spread that compound around. You can hear it's real gritty. Oh, yeah. When you hear it start to smooth out, you gotta tap it. Here it started to smooth out right there. If you tap it a couple times, it'll bring more Get the compound back in. Wipe it off. Wipe this grinding compound off here. Definitely try not to get any of that in this, the valve guide. Be grinding your valve guides now. Oh yeah, if you can see the valve seat. Focus, put my hand here. If you can see the valve seat here. Nice. Some of that stuff off. It looks good. Now this, they're kind of, these things are kind of a pain in the ass. So all I've been doing is more or less just breaking them off. Trying to s 
smash the new ones on. Yes, I am prying against the aluminum. Here we go, there's the ring. There it is. There's a little ring. Just break it, there it is. Bam. Pull out your new valve stem seal. Here's the new one. Put it right on there. Just try to work it on, push it on, it'll go on. There it is. Basically on. Almost. I try to give it a little squeeze with the pliers. Make sure that that ring is tight. stem guide or seal rather spring 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 compressor tool zooming out compress this sucker get a bottom view here there it is Clips back in. There it is. All done. It's on there. Uh, piece of lint. So there it is.